All right. All right. So, um, Rixie isn't joining us tonight. Uh, she's she's busy doing Rixie things. Um, so I'm gonna need someone to uh, catch us up on what happened in the last session. Uh oh. Perfectly normal. Yes. Yes. So you guys are free to take a long rest if you would like. You're free to move around in the in the hut. So yeah. Of course I just realized that you guys weren't being heard on stream. Uh oh. Good. Nice. Good job, me. Um, very, very cool. Pro right, well, if you've guys. pushed it, I'm gonna pr I'm gonna use the long rest button then. Professional gamering. That's what we're taking. Professional PNDing. Um, my thing said, "Where's the long rest button?" Oh no, it's on our it's on our sheets. It's, yeah. It's yeah. Not just a sheet. In the limited features, you... there's a button to just do whatever rest you're taking. You will not find it on. Fair enough. Are you seeing uh, Indie Beyond or useful. Oh. Uh, no, just a PDF. Oh. Alright, so, are you guys... You guys all rested up? Yeah. We did level up last time, didn't we? Yes. Yeah. I was just confirming. We did, I believe. Yeah, so you are level 5 now, I believe? Indeed. Yes. All no, right. no, 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 6, six you mean, huh? Level 15, yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alright, uh... I forgot to get all of your stat changes last week, I think. Oh, last I session. sent mine, I believe. Yes. Did I send mine? Yes, I Let's see. I whistle and look, yeah, I look innocent. When was the last session exactly? That is a very good question. I can look that up. Give me a second. Uh, it was on the 5th of last month. Then, yeah, all that changed was my HP. health value. Yeah, all that changed was my health. And yeah. I posted in Discord, but I also posted it in the Roll20, so... I'll everyone send over a ping with my new HP. Oh, 
Oh, I've got your new HP cast. Just looking at this number of hit points and I'm reminded sorcerers are so squishy. Sorcerers are very squishy. Alright. Um. Just roll max. <laughs> I can only do that when I get other people to roll, apparently. <laughs> no. no, when I was rolling HP for that character I also rolled max like two or, or two or three levels. You take those. No matter what campaign or character. Alright, so you take a long rest. Um, who wants to wake up first? Uh, I'm already awake, technically. Okay. So... Grania should probably be up a bit early as well. Okay. As you two stir from your long rest, you notice that <clears throat> that the inside of this hut that you're in um, kind of smells a little bit like decaying fish. And you also notice a small wooden chest. And Morgoth is nowhere to be seen. The one Completely we, uh, normal rescued. and understandable. Yep, that's the one you rescued. Uh, would was me uh, was Morgor uh, with us in the room when we went to our long rest? Uh, yeah. Oh, uh, <clears throat> I will just say that Miuja doesn't sleep. He, he like he can he can just do light activity when he is long resting, oh, which okay. is what he normally does. Okay. Um, you you would have noticed that uh, she would have slipped out was she trying to be sneaky about it or well, she was trying not to wake anyone that had fallen okay. asleep but she wasn't like necessarily trying to stop you from noticing her sneaking out Mirja would have just taken notice and continued uh, writing on his uh, minor illusion paper Well, since I'd I already as well. said it, Karen, so just sort of run. get up early and do the usual morning rituals and whatnot. Preparations and such. Okay. Just for the timeline, Palm will probably be the last to wake up. Um, she's very exhausted after being nearly digested in the stomach yesterday. You really have a habit of getting swallowed. Not my thing. I don't want it to happen. To each their own, but mm. like, gross. <sighs> What's in the box? Anybody? Um. Do you wanna? You want to roll and investigate? Sure. Okay. Uh. Oh no, this is a good one. Uh, twenty-one. Twenty-one. Okay. Mm -hmm. The small wooden chest contains cookware, spices, old fish bones, and a mummified toad. And this wasn't here before? The chest 
was, but because you guys had come in uh, during the dark and you guys were quite tired, you hadn't quite noticed it. Cleanliest place we've stayed. Uh, not the worst, I think. At least not for me. All right. Having a look outside, can we see where the, the activity going on in the town? Or um, hold on a sec. If I just take you guys to the map again. We're not really near the town, are we? You are... You guys are here. We were down town. in the bottom right near the spider castle. Yeah, you guys were down here. Um, so if something was happening, say, past this point or past this point, you wouldn't really be able to see or hear it. So as far as you guys are aware, it's... There's nothing happening. Also, um, Cranios, you said that you were doing your usual morning routine. Yep, just hmm. the uh, usual. Got the mirror out, the uh, scale care kit with the just sort of applying it to my face and whatnot. Okay, um... UJ is intently observing. Roll a perception check for me, Cass. You need to see uh, if I can do a performance if you like. It's a brand name, <laughs> see if it's a brand name or not. <clears throat> Am I worth it? <laughs> uh... There's my perception. Karanios, I will... I will let you, uh, describe what you want to. Well, as the, uh... As Karanios is sort of applying the, uh, routine to the scales, you would see again a few more glimpses of those oddly off-coloured scales, the kind that a uh, certain person who's absent today decided to take one of for a necklace. It wasn't Thankfully they didn't want a tooth or an ear. Oh no, it wasn't a necklace. Well, it was uh, to put a, on an, her hat. An adornment. Yeah. Is more what I meant. But yeah. There are a uh, there are a few more like that. Muji continues to observe, even though he's seen as much as is needed. And as he observes, he will begin playing on his flute. York will go and relax up on the roof, assuming it will support him. It is a... just sort of, uh, it immediately the falls through. Karanios does sort of... Well, I mean, he is pretty lightweight. It's a straw roof. I was just going to say, Karenius would uh, notice the look and just sort of pause for a moment and gesture to himself. You would not believe how difficult it is to take care of these properly. Just sort of gesturing to the scales and everything. Particularly in a swampy area such as this. Me too, Joe nods and like he raises one of his wings flaps it a little as like uh to sh just to say like i can understand just the forearm grip handshake being offered next just the mutual <laughs> understanding <laughs> all right see so you guys are you guys just gonna sit around until morgul may come back or What's your plan? What do you want to do? Well, I would poke my head out the door and see if anything changed 
during the night, but I am blind as a bat and not very good at that sort of thing. Should I, like, outside and shout for her? Maybe flag her down? Yeah, that's why I was looking around to see if anybody was around, but... I mean, would we want to start shouting our name around? Because... You guys rescued her from jail, and yeah. the king's men yeah. are kind of after all of you, so do you really want to do that? Oh wait, hold on, I'm DM. I could make this evil. Me, do it. Me, 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 you, Joe, would not either way. <laughs> That's the reason I was just looking around. I mean, I was a little zoned out when- Is she within the immediate vicinity? No. No. I missed the part about the chest in the middle. What's going on with that? Uh, there is a chest in just shoved into a corner in the room, um, which is filled with cookware, spices, old fish bones, and a mummified toad. Well, I avoid that. <laughs> After sort of finishing the scale care routine, Karnius has sort of stand up walk vaguely towards the chest and just sort of try and mage hand out the spices just to see what they are. Just to see if they're usable or anything. Um... You can never have enough paprika. I will, I will say yes. Ronios just sort of decides probably best to not with how close they've been to that toad and just gently puts it back down with the mage hand and very gently closes the lid of the chest with it. Okay, as you go to close the lid of the chest again, you kind of detect a small aura of magic inside the chest. The mage hand immediately freezes. And instead of being gentle this time, quickly slams open the roof of the chest again. And then starts <laughs> digging, the mage hand just starts digging through, trying to find it. With uh, Karanios pinching his nose and looking down. Make a detect magic spell, if you have one. Uh, or an arcana have... check. I think I could have had detect magic. Did I take detect magic? I forgot. I. I can't remember if you did either. If you want to, you no. can make an Arcana check instead. I can ritual it. Arcana and Investigation are both at plus zero, so they're a straight roll. I can ritual detect magic. And then I'll sort of point out, there's something magic-y in that chest. Yuji gets up, walks over, cracks his knuckles, takes a look at it. And nods. <laughs> nods. Uh, I'll... Prepare to take magic as a ritual. Alright, do you wanna perform it? Yeah, so that'll it'll take some time to prepare it, but Okay. In the meantime, what does Miyuja find? In the meantime, you find Yes, there's definitely a magic aura in there. Ah uh, yes, the magic here is made of magic. Yeah. Miyuja's work here is done. He tur he nods triumphantly without explaining what he found and walks away. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Does anyone uh, it'll do be... anything oh. else? Rourke's just Bounce. basically gonna keep a lookout. Bounce just doing some like strength training, just like squats and push ups and just getting ready in the morning. Belgerson, as you finish your detect magic ritual, you see that it that the magic aura is coming from the mummified toad, and I'm gonna allow you to make an arcana check to uh, detect what the magic of the mummified toad will do. Um, Arcana. Alright. Do that. Um, uh, 18. 18? 
you find that the uh if the mummified toad is tossed into a pot or kettle of water it disappears and produces a darkness spell which lasts for 10 minutes could be useful Could indeed. Do you take it? Uh, I'll see what it is, but I'm not going to take it yet. I'll poke it with the mage hand just to make sure it doesn't blow up. It doesn't blow up. Thank goodness. Gonna go back to watch side thing when our host is back. If there's any activity. All right. So you a few minutes pass before you see um, a figure returning. And as the figure gets closer, you you see that it is Morgoth. Um, and she's brought a few other bullywugs along with her. I assume that this uh, these are the uh, friends of yours that aren't too happy with the way things are currently run. You'd be correct about that. This is... this here is Illig. And uh, Illig, he, he steps forward and gives a, a short bow. Uh, yes. And by, by current state of things, <laughs> you, you, you mean uh, that witless buffoon Gullop being in charge? Indeed. So you must be the outsiders that Gullop is all a buzz about right now. I just sort of uh, look over to Vildrasen. Uh, seems you made an impression. Maybe, maybe. You cut out there. Maybe slightly. Did kind of embarrass him in front of his entire court. It wasn't that hard though. Um, Illig barks out uh, a laugh. He says, "I like you people." I do kind of like the name The Outsiders, though. Yeah, we'll workshop it. I do have some kind of plan to get rid of him. Oh, well, if we, uh, if we're all agreeable, we can sit down and talk about it. Inuja looks offended. Ellie gives you a very level stare. Right. Sorry? He continues to be silent. <laughs> right. Okay. I I do have a a, a plan. Um, and he he pulls out this um this small sheaf of 
parchment, which he's got like a really. Mm, childishly drawn image of what you assume is the king Gullup with a dagger, knife, sword, something pokey in its eye. And he very proudly shows you this, this image, and he goes, I, th this is my plan. I, I would I'm, I was going to uh, accidentally trip over something and and stab him in the eye. Yuja, oh, quite the uh, talented schemer. Yuja leans in, and it would be at this point that anyone looking at him realizes that he has the monocle on, and he's using it to look closer, even though it has absolutely no effect on his ability to read. Just appraising, <laughs> trying to value it. How much gold is yeah. this worth? How much gold is this drawing worth? Muja, uh, minor illusions, a piece of paper, and it uh, holds it out to the Bollywog, uh, and it just reads out, I value this painting at approximately one copper. <laughs> Plot twist, he would have to pay you the copper to take it. <laughs> yes. Um... But the quality, is it basically a napkin, or is it actual high quality parchment? Um, it's stained okay so it's Not basically great. a napkin yeah i was gonna say these guys don't seem like the sort of high quality of high quality parchment <laughs> it's, it's definitely not high quality parchment considering they live in a swamp this is their toilet paper <laughs> it's not it's not twitter <laughs> i mean it's a swamp but it is <laughs> it is it is stained torn kind of gross to look at um, well, as plans go, it's short and to the point. <laughs> to the point. <laughs> that, that was humorous. Um, you to minor illusions applause. <laughs> Barak will hop down from the roof. <clears throat> so... Are, are you in agreement? This is a good plan, this is what we do. Is it really just as easy as that? He is a- Kronios just turns to Vildrasim with a flat look, remembering just how easily <laughs> Vildrasim took a knife to this, the king's throat. I mean... Point taken, but... Really? That's how things work around here? Miyuja minor sure. illusions, a like, uh... Like, tiny replica of the spikes with all those, uh... Previous king heads on them. Yeah. R Roar kind of gives like a an indifferent shrug. It's like there were many heads over by the bridge. Mm. This seems like tradition to them. So if if you're what? the one that kills the current king, does that make you the new leader? Yes, yes, it does. I I think I could uh, I could rule downfall better. And what happens if somebody? hypothetically not from around downfall disposes of the current um i don't know that's never happened before i suppose by tradition you'd be the monarch but you're outsiders so that doesn't work i don't know Nuja looks over at Perennius knowingly. Just Perennius returns the look. Just with a wink. Just some mischief <laughs> to be had. Muja would there's, there's, wink there's as well. Muja would wink as well if he uh, weren't an owl and thus had no eyelids. I think owls can wink. No, they don't. I've seen owls. owls don't have eyelids. I've seen or owls. A, a lot like, of breeds. They can like squint. Close. Yeah, I've seen them like squint and close their eyes. It's more owl. like the. Yeah, they're like moving the everything around the eye, I believe. Yeah. Well. It's as good a plan as any we've had so far. 
And these are the locals. They should know things best. I can't think of a way to do it better, really. I mean, it's simple, but if anyone has any suggestions, please. My owl effects are wrong, I forgot. That they don't have eyeballs, it's I mean, not that they just don't have eyelids. To the court and kill the king. Doesn't seem like it would be difficult. But how long will it be before someone stabs? He pa he pauses, trying to remember the name. <laughs> then he just kind of points the claw down over at the Hillig. the, frog, or the... Hillig. No, 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 no. This, this, no. Out of character, in character, he's just like uh, that one. <laughs> how, how, <clears throat> how long before someone stabs him in the eye? Well, so long as we protect him long enough for him to like help us get to the hag, then you know. And after that, it's You his want to get to the hag? We do. That is our destination, yes. We do indeed have business with mm. the hag. Very similar business. You make me king, I'll get you there. I mean, it seems like a pretty good deal to me. I have another hypothetical question. Has Downfall ever formed into any kind of army against a threat? You know, you united on something like that? Uh, Hypothetically? Illy kind of fumbles with his thoughts, and as he does, Morgoth kind of steps forward and says, No... If there is a king, there are rebels who wish for their king to be killed, as well as supporters. Downfall has never agreed on anyone being... I'm starting anything. to see where the name comes from. I, I'm, I'm more mean, any, have there been any threats from outside the court that they've fought against? I... I don't think so. I think it's mainly just been us keeping to ourselves. We don't even live long enough to know who was in charge before the hag, really. How long do you live for? Oh, just, you know, 20... 25 years at the most. Oh, okay. Future admirer loses a piece of paper and it uh, just asks, uh, how often do you guys depose your kings? You've seen the heads. I think it would be apt to say that there has never been a time where someone isn't plotting to kill the current monarch. And at this point, um, Illig pipes up and says, Until I'm in charge, they'll all see that... They'll all see how good they have it when I'm in charge. No, they won't. <laughs> how rude. You really think you'll do better than every single other one of the heads on a pike? Of course. Muja thinks for a second and then writes uh, Minor Illusions' paper and it now reads, What if one of the heads kills the current king? <laughs> That's impossible. Muja Minor Illusions' piece of paper again and says, Is it? 
Yes. He taps it again and it just gets bigger. I mean, they do still have teeth. I assume. If they even have teeth to begin with. I wouldn't know if they have teeth. I've been disguising myself as one. Do they have teeth? The frogs. Frogs don't have I mean, teeth, right? Yeah. Hold on. Do frogs have... Weird Google search history for the day. Can <laughs> owls wink? Do frogs have teeth? We're getting okay, all our only... animal biology. Owls can wink. Only one species of frog has teeth on both upper and lower jaws. Some species have, like, fangs on upper jaws. I have learned frogs, more about frogs but, today than but I intended. most species tend to be toothless. Yeah, no, most of them are just gummy. Yeah, I'm now just really? trying to imagine teeth gummy? on a frog. Truly a weak species. I mean, if you Google search images of Bullywog, you get some mostly teethless, but occasionally teethed. I mean, it depends on what type of frog they're based off of, really. Yeah. Probably the bullfrog. And bullfrogs tend to be gummy. I think. Oh, gee, I hate that. <laughs> <laughs> Why were we looking up if they had teeth anyway? I forgot. I was just saying they could. Uh, the heads would be able to bite. The oh king and yeah, king no, they, they can't do that. <laughs> what if someone were to take? What if someone were to take one of the pikes that the heads on and then use that to beat the king to death? I think that would because be the considered head, as a weapon. Mewtwo taps the paper again and just says, "What if they get the last hit?" And what if the or no, it says, what if the king's already close to being dead and they get the last hit? I feel like we're stretching this a lot. Ninja holds up a hand as though to wait because he wants to hear an answer this badly. Do I have to answer? I'll only be mildly sad if I- if he- well, Miyuja will only be mildly sad if uh, there is no answer. There is no answer. <laughs> Miyuja, Miyuja sheds a single tear and steps back. Okay. Um... Wait, where did the ruler go? It's I was a... using the ruler and now it's disappeared from the top left. It's minimized. Oh, it's like minimized the cube, the square for it. That's why. No idea why. I fixed it. Sorry. I was just sort of. Uh, I definitely wasn't checking what was in 150 feet of the uh, where the throne is. Definitely not. Seeing the uh, why is mine account. not snapping like it's supposed to? Uh, because this is a screenshot, not a map. And each square that is 10 sense. feet. I figured that. Yeah. Figured out that about 30 feet is roughly 150, like 32 feet is 150. So about here, that's very close to where we parked the boats. Sorry, this is completely irrelevant. And this is irrelevant. The boats are over here, though. Uh, you got we, off the boat here. No, we uh, took a boat across from here to here, didn't we? Oh, across, across yeah, here? We went, a little yeah. Left. Yeah. You know, a little, little ferry boat. Yeah. After Definitely we, not you know, seeing burned, how far burned. away I can toss a fireball from. Yeah, just after we burned the uh, hag, hagling alive. Well, I can't say that their plan differs much from the one that we had going. But at the very least, It'll be more than just us trying to accomplish it. Yeah, and I don't know about you, but we've got like all those other hags to go deal with. I feel like us having to like rule a kingdom while also doing that we just seems like don't a little much. Have to deal with that. We can just oh, help we them sort like out. To send it to anarchy afterwards. 
They'll be a ruler, I'm sure. Mm-hmm. I'm sure the next ruler will be incredibly wise, just, and fair. You see Elig puff out his chest a little bit as you say that. Whoever it may be. Anyway, uh, your... I assume if this is your plan that you have weapons and the like, you're ready to be able to fight? We have weapons for us, yes. Yes, that's what I was checking. Well, the situ from what I've heard from the situation here, I gather it's not politically complex. Things are quite straightforward, so... Honestly, I'm in favour of this plan. I have no issue with it. It gets us where we need to go. I agree. Nothing wrong with a good old bit of stabbing. At this point, Pound's just like crazy how she is in her picture of just like the linear with the great axe out. Okay. So it's a deal then. Seems like it. We are just up. checking, the uh, deal is we help with your plan, we help with the plan to kill Gollop, you help us. Yes. Seems fair. This guy? I was just getting the wording very specifically there to make sure it wasn't <laughs> the deal to make him the king. Just in case we do the killing? Yeah. Okay, um... So, how do we get over there? I assume you have a plan? One of our scouts has gone to see if he is in the palace. They should be back any minute now. In that case, I will have to go and repair, prepare a few things. Don't worry, I have a few tricks up my sleeve. I'll uh, definitely be helping. And with that, I sort of walk out of the hut and go round the back to air uh, quotes uh, or to. Uh, well, I'm basically pretending to leave to use the bathroom, at the very least. But I'm actually going to try and get out of sight of all of them and then disguise myself again as the mute... Uh, the mute Bullywog. With, with my... Uh, I, well, that's if I can sort of get out of their sight for a little bit. You certainly can. Can I ask why? Because Morgoth is in there, and Morgoth did see you as both Cranios and the mute frog. I'll make myself a slightly different mute frog. <laughs> <laughs> a slightly darker yeah. shade of green. Okay. Let's, 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 go with, let's, go with let's go with pretending to be blind in one eye. I doubt so this time the Bollywogs uh, have the intelligence to tell the difference. Yeah, and the obvious, like an illusion, different outfit, different clothes, and whatnot. I'm gonna say, I don't know if they have the intelligence to discern that disguise. <laughs> so I shall, for the next hour, disguise myself again. Okay. Um, as you walk out of the hut to do that, um, you see a couple of Wollywogs um, stood by a, a wooden crate by the entrance to the hut. Um, 
as you pass by, you you kind of see that the the wooden crate has uh, hunting gear piled up on top of it, including a heavy crossbow, some bolts, a trap, um, and inside the crate. Oh wait, no, you wouldn't be able to see inside the crate. Never mind. If I can go around the back, disguise myself as the uh, new frog, and I come back around from the other side, I'll just sort of approach the, the, the people guarding the crate with the weapons and everything on it as if I know what's going on. Just give them both a nod and then just sort of act like I'm looking for a weapon to prepare myself with and uh, look inside the crate. Alright, as... Yeah, they, they let you. They let you. Um, inside of the crate is uh, several small woodland animal carcasses how fresh are they oh they're, no they're pretty fresh I have absolutely no idea what those are for so to just keep up the act I just sort of give a firm nod as if can as if I'm sort of confirming thing something I uh, just grab randomly grab one of the uh, presumably quite shoddy weapons they have and just sort of start pretending to uh, use it, starting inspecting it and using it, getting ready to use it. All right. Before um... the animal carcasses are the weapons. <laughs> um, just have tiny catapults. Yeah, so, you, so you take a One shot. you you take a crossbow and I'll say you take six crossbow bolts. Oh, I'm not even planning. I'm not even going to note them on my inventory. I'm not planning to keep it. I'm just oh, okay. going to ditch it first chance I get. I'm just taking it for the sake of appearances. Fair enough. Uh, everyone else, what are you doing whilst Coronius is doing this? Uh, Mute is going to go over to Vilmer's minor illusion piece of paper and hold it up to him so that only he sees it, not the volley logs, but uh, it reads. How many of them do you think are going to die during this? Mm. At what stage of this plan? Uh, he taps it and it just says, uh, any point. It says what? Any point. It depends how many we can bring with us against the hag. Mugen nodders, uh, and then uh, lets the paper disappear. I was just kind of walking side by side um, with the booty walks, just kind of vibing. Walking? After finishing to, after finishing the pretending, finishing pretending to inspect the weapon, Frog Karenio sort of uh, quietly makes his way back into the hut with the rest of the group, just sort of slip in, just sort of standing behind everyone else, or all the other bollywogs in there. Sorry, and did if, I uh, say walking? I didn't actually. Sorry. <laughs> if uh, none of them sort of pay attention or they just sort of look away, for a brief moment, just to sort of let everyone know what's going on, Karenius will minor illusion, a small arrow sort of floating up and down above his head, like a freaking quest objective marker. <laughs> just for a few seconds pointing at himself, and then letting it fade, just to show what he looks like in the disguise. Okay. Do you do this in view of Ella again? I was saying if they're not paying attention to me and I can just sort of slip okay. in behind them. Yeah, he's he's behind the group. Okay, yeah. Um they they don't seem to notice. And without my excuse not to talk for a little while is Easy way to write yourself out of having to I, leave the It's not that I'm trying to do that, but I just don't speak the <laughs> language <laughs> most of the time. Alright. Riorg is chilling at the door. 
It's too crowded inside. And it's also inside. All right. Um, another minute passes, and Ruark, you you see a bullywug running down the path towards the hut. Uh, like, like in a panic, and oh, he's not really panicking. He's just trying to make he's his journey quicker. Too. Gotcha. I just want to point out something I just noticed. Mm -hmm. With the uh, established one square ten feet thing on this map, the uh, area where uh, Gullop is is exactly fireball radius. Uh... A fireball in the center with a twenty foot radius, each okay. square being ten feet. So, uh, I mean, just how something to keep in mind. Is it? It's a palace. It's a bigish building. Oh, I thought you meant, like, the uh, columns where we were before. No. Over here. Ah, okay. The, the, it's, this is the palace. Wait, that's the uh, palace? I thought that was the hags. No, no, no that... the hags, the hag is, like, over here. At the center. Oh, the center bit. Okay. Yeah, where we were was, like, the court. Yeah, this, this okay, area okay. was the, the gazebo and the court. This is okay. the palace. Oh, uh, yeah, no, I wasn't there when you guys were exploring that part. Okay. Even so, Palace is a big building, but, uh... Still yeah. easily fireball. <laughs> I just got it, I must use it. It's steeping at the mouth like any like a magic caster with fireball. Indeed. Right. Question is not if, but when. Um, the the scout approaches the the door of the hut, um, gesturing to the uh, to the two that are outside with the crate. And uh, they they wave him in. And, and he enters, uh, the hut, and he says, "Lord Illig, sir, um, I I just I." Hey, that was a long run. Um, King Gollop is uh, going on a. Whew, he's going on a hunting trip. <sighs> and the Illig kind of looks at him, kind of wide eyed, and he goes, A, a hunting trip? At this time? I was sure that those guards at the palace were scrambling because of the outsiders. And the scout goes, yeah, yeah, that too, but I don't know. Fancy he just fancied it going on a hunt. Ellie kind of looks around at everyone looks back to the scout and he says all right when and where and uh the 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 scout um he he points to i'm so sorry i don't have the place names pulled up for the map give me a second Oh, the, the, the he's going into the the woods behind the uh the watchtower and and, and Ilig says and the time uh he said something about leaving. Uh, leaving this evening, I, I believe. Yes, yes, that's that's what he said this evening. Hmm. Chain 
change of plan then, said Illig, and he pulls out his drawing and uh, a quill, and he, he kneels down on the ground to, to scratch out um, to, uh, to scratch out the crown and to uh, draw in a really crappy bonfire at the feet of the uh, the, the childish drawn king. Okay, everyone, this is our new plan. We are going to attack him tonight when they are around the around the campfire. And I still get to stab him in the eye. Very intent on this eye stabbing thing, aren't you? They do have rather large eyeballs. I can hold him down for you. Hearing this, minor uh, illusion, just piece of paper that just says, <laughs> I can make him fall asleep. <laughs> no. He must be awake. <laughs> he must see it coming. They say tonight. Roughly what sort of time is it? Is it um, near night? No. Uh, you just had a, a night long rest so you've okay. got like a whole day to plan prepare in that case Corinius will uh s sort of shuffle back out sneak around the back again drop the uh disguise for now and have it ready for uh later and then just sort of walk back acting like it was a uh a very long morning lavatory break <laughs> okay So, did I miss anything important? Ah, I see. Bonfire must be, a, I assume, a hunting trip of some kind. <laughs> Got it in one. That's quite impressive. Uh, Ellie kind of looks up at you in awe that you understood what he had drawn. <laughs> I just sort of pat pat Illig on the shoulder a couple of times and then walk to rejoin the group. <laughs> um, Morgoth at this point says Alright, so um, can't believe I'm saying this. We have phase one of the plan. Phase two would be getting you all to the hag's cottage. Illig, sir. Illig looks up at her. And she goes, um, I won't join for combat. I'm not a fighter. However, I will go and uh, steal that balloon to get our uh, allies here to the hag. Um, Elig nods. That seems like a very hmm. That's a very good idea. I like this. You do that. And and Morgoth will say, uh, will will bow and uh, turn to you guys, wave, and she uh, exits the uh, the hut. Johnny will just sort of uh, walk up to Musia and whisper, "I think I found a regent." Uh, wait. Just whisper to Muja, I think I found a regent. Person to rule in the uh, ruler's stead. I believe that's the definition of regent, isn't it? Mm hmm. Yeah. What 
What more is there to say right now? So there's a plan, but there's, there's a lot a of time before plan. the plan happens. Uh, there's time. I kind of just want to give you guys time to RP. Um, Illig's kind of done talking to you and is uh, gone back outside. Bunga bunga me no RP me kill thing. <laughs> well, it's more of a plan than we had yesterday. I was just um, thinking of going down there and beheading him. Yes, that would be simpler. The, at the very least, now we know a place where he's going to be, and I imagine much less guarded than the actual building. Would it make a difference? Huge and minor illusions, a big sign that says no. <laughs> a big neon flashing sign. Yeah. Yeah. Does anyone happen to know the sort of things that they may hunt in this area? Actually, no, wait, no, I would know because I saw all the small game in the in the uh, crate, didn't I? Yeah. So... Oh, I have, I have some. So, I just sort of looked at Musia and would it be how big was this uh, small game actually to check? It would have been like, things rabbit like rabbit size, rabbit and smaller. Okay, that's well. Small game. Rabbits are smaller than a five foot cube, so minor illusion can recreate it. Yes. So I just sort of minor illusion one of the uh, one of the small game that I saw and have it hop around a bit and just think if they're hunting it might be in, might be useful to be able to control what they hunt. And I just sort of practice making it look realistic how it hops around and moves. They do seem to be very gullible. Future nods thoughtfully, watching the minor illusion of some of a rabbit, and he will also minor illusion a rabbit just to practice. It's one of them bog hairs, you see. <laughs> My <laughs> favorite. I imagine after about five or ten minutes, Karanios and Musia both just start racing their illusions. Yes. I I I like that visual. Um, is anyone paying attention to uh, what Illig and the guards are talking about at all, or...? I'm too distracted by illusion rabbit racing. I mean, unless they've gone away yes. somewhere, then, they, they've yeah. not. They, they've not gone away, they're kind of just hanging around outside the door with the crate. Oh yeah, then I'll, I'll have noticed. Alright, um... I won't act out the whole conversation, but you do hear that, um... The crate full of small game is a gift for Bavlorna for when Illig becomes king. Because she is a... Uh, what's the fucking word? Bitch. <laughs> well, yes, that's one word. <laughs> Uh, no, um, yes, but no, um... Liege? Taxidermist. Oh. Ah. Uh. Very different from what I thought you were trying to say. Yeah. Oh. I mean, hey, even the villain has to have hobbies. Yeah. Even if that hobby is... Genocide? Cat? I smile. Hearing that it's a gift for Bavlorna, assuming the uh, that Vildresen relays the information. Hmm. It could be a way... Could we pack him with anything? That's what I was thinking. Anything, no. uh, any surprises we could leave in there? We could load a bunch of bullywogs into them. Major points to himself. How many bullywogs could fit in that crate? <laughs> 
How, How many bullywogs would fit in that? In crate? my head, I was expecting you guys to be thinking of filling each carcass with like explosives or something. So, I'm yeah, so I glad that you that meant the crate. Shame on you for presuming. That was the first sadly, thought. sadly, I'm not high enough level in spellcasting to have glyph warding. Yeah. yeah like sadly, how, how I don't have crates? delayed fireball. Yeah, we we don't really have possibility. But that was my first thought. I just no, wanted to be known that, that as soon as I have Glyph of Warding within my grasp, it will be fucking used. <laughs> You're going to put Glyph of Warding on people's beds and then cast sleep on them? Yes. Oh no! I will not be stopped! <laughs> I will fucking fill a bag of coins <laughs> with Glyph of Warding, cast with sleep on them. Oh no. I will sleep an entire swarm of enemies by unleashing the coin sleep Armageddon. All in the name of Jonathan? Yes. <laughs> My boy. I've created a monster. Alright, um... Yeah, so how many bullywogs could we fit in a box? <laughs> Yeah, I was gonna say how, back, how, back to the original point. I, I do just want to point out this is this is a, a crate, right? It's not a big crate. It's not it's not tiny, but it's not big enough for a person. So three if you really so about so three yeah, quarters about, of a about bullywog. Three if you remove their bones. Yeah, so how many bullywogs movies? Uh two. Two is required to move it just because of its weight. Is that with or without considering the bully box inside? Well, I... Without. So it might need three bully wands if there's a, like, three very tightly packed, uh, deboned, uh, bully wands in it. Why are we discussing how many bully wands we can fit in the box? Because, these because we're trying to work out how many combatants we can smuggle in with weapons. Oh. Inquiring minds need to know. We have to. We have to improvise, considering I can't pass with a fucking warning. Okay. Um. Maybe. Maybe one. And how many boxes are there? Oh, it's just the one crate. Oh well, that's. Mm. One Sadly, polywog I is think... probably about as yeah. useful as no polywogs. Yeah, probably. Honestly, having a minor illusion of a bollywog might be more useful than an actual one. It probably would I would be. also like to remind you that the bollywogs are beholden to the hag. Uh, so Fair you probably enough. can't expect any support other than being taken there. Yeah. Don't worry, I just need to, I just need to perform a really, like, upbeat, like, uh, protagonist song for them, and, like, they'll be like, yeah, let's kill Bevlorna. I'm just waiting for you to roll on that one and just say, play Wonderwall instead. God damn it! No, he plays oh. Master of Puppets instead. <laughs> okay. <laughs> My 30. You wasted. Anyway. You say 30 wasted. That was an 11. A 30 for you on a performance is middling. <laughs> Oh no, that's that that that's my oh, plus. That's plus that was a nineteen. Sorry, yeah, yeah. Sorry, I misread that. Wait, your plus that on performance is eleven? Holy fuck! Yeah. Plus eleven to the... You're a no. monster, cat. The minimum you that, can roll that the song you need to be singing there, buddy. That that's the song you need to be singing right there. I'll make a man out of you. <laughs> yeah, these 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 guys clearly need a montage. <laughs> they really do. Or. An inspiring new monarch. That's One that can loud. lead them against the chains of oppression. They start playing this stuff. Oh no, they'll still be under them, they'll just be under our chains. Exactly, that's why the Soviet National Anthem's coming in. Yeah. <laughs> bah. Our chains. What's... Hag's chain. What's yours is mine and what's mine is also mine.
damn it, now you've actually put it in my head. That if I do work, somehow wind up becoming the bloody monarch, I am going to just go full Soviet and try and lead them in a way against the bag. Okay. That's just, that's future planning. We're going to recreate the Soviet's military strategy with these bullywogs. Ah, uh, yes. Because that worked out so well the first time. It did. I mean, the first time when the Soviets first formed. Yeah. Human wave tactics are humane. I don't know what you're talking about. We just need to lay down enough dead bullywogs to get from the shore listen, listen. to the hag. I don't remember reading any general convention when I came into the Feywild, so I, I think we're perfectly fine. Well, we also need to remember that, as far as these bullywogs know, we just have regular business with the with the hack. They don't know we're going all yeah. in on the Leroy Jenkins and, you know. And chances are, it would probably be better if we kept the nature of our business at a very discretionary level. Oh, I fully intend to. But, but if but, I do but, become king, oh. I'm going to try my luck at the very least. Revolution. You gotta Revolution change downfall for the better? I'm gonna no, change for the worse. <laughs> yeah, but you're gonna unite the bullywug somehow. They just need a folk, an inspiring folk hero to rally behind. And we will make that folk hero. All and they need is a rousing life. speech. I'm fairly sure that that'll work. Oh wait, shit, I don't speak the language. A rousing speech. A rousing sign language. Something akin to a, toss a, a coin to your game of charades, Where I just have to sort of act out an inspiring speech with my hands because I can't speak the language. <laughs> Unfortunately, the charismatic one amongst us doesn't speak. Ah, uh, finger guns. <laughs> I'm, hey, I'm also I'm a sorcerer. I am. No, well, I have yeah. high charisma as well. Yeah, but the performance I also can't persuasion. Speak in this situation. Just inspiring for interpretive dance. Don't worry, I'll start breakdancing, guys. Twenty-eight. I I immediately rally them to our cause. <laughs> I was going to say, you could always give them a bardic inspiration. <laughs> now, those are free to give to people when they're doing dumb shit that like, will most likely fail, but I just want to see it fail slightly less. Well, that's a bridge we'll cross when we actually get there. We actually have to uh, dethrone the king first to see what comes next. So are we going to do, like, a stealth operation where we, like, go in... Do you really think items? that, uh, these guys are the stealthy sort? I mean, I am. I mean, I mean the bullywugs. <laughs> no, I but don't think they're they're going like, to they can stuff. swim in the water, right? They could be quite quiet. We could, like, they, cruise up on they, the boat. And they're, they're small and... They know the area. They they can be quiet if they want to be. To be fair, they're not loud and obnoxious kind of stupid. They're just stupid stupid. Yes, very true. true. They're not grog. Yeah, they're just stupid stupid. Yeah, but then they're probably not going to factor being sneaky into their plan. Or at least the guy in charge isn't. With uh, he desperately his brilliant wants tactical mind. Right. I don't know, I think he's going to be the next Hannibal. So what you're saying is we need elephants? And a mountain, but I don't- I believe we left that behind. That's right. Always forget the elephant bag. Look at all these fucking skill rolls that I'm doing, and like, as soon as it comes to combat, all my rolls are gonna be oopie dookie fucking ones. You gotta get those good rolls out of the way for me to Just subtract 12 from all those rolls, and that's what's what you're gonna get when it counts. Yeah, exactly. 
I'm just going to get my fucking uh, modifier, and that's it. Yep. You're gonna, you're gonna burn out your dice karma. You're wearing down the. Uh, you're playing a string instrument. You're just sort of wearing down the strings and. Yeah. Like, sorry, just snap. all gone. Time for the concerto. Have fun with that. All right. There's not really much we can do to prepare or plan because there we know isn't. the rough area, but we can't exactly go there first, or they'll know something's up. Can't you really just go. I like to imagine the idea of you just for bonding exercises for all of us and everyone being like, "That's cringe, dude." Um. At this point, Illig comes back in. And he's holding, um, instead of it being crudely drawn, it is a like a, a proper map of downfall. And he shows you uh, shows you the point on the map uh, where they're going to be, which is here. Um, and he says, "We're gonna go and set up, ready for an ambush when dark hits." You can what? meet us there, or you can come with us. What is, um, this structure here? That's the watchtower that the scout was referring to. Right. Mm -hmm. And I assume it sort of overlooks and has a sort of... Is the scout tower go going to be uh, occupied at all? Mm. Really wants to fireball it. I mean... I might have the range from the top if it has the line of sight. And it's a good defensible location. Our no. our scout will be posted there. I see. Man, this king's really a fucking dumbass, isn't he? He's just going straight into the rebel territory. Pretty much what Ruark's been saying from the get go, these guys aren't that bright. Yes, I can see. I know, but this is like I can see where the baffling levels of from. Omega Dub. Yeah. It's probably because of the hag that these guys haven't completely collapsed in on themselves. <laughs> At the rate it's going, the uh, talking heads we walked through are probably just from the last week. <laughs> yeah, I figured it. That's why I was. I mean, that's why Miyuja was like, "Wait, so how long?" Like, I mean, be because for, he was the, baffled. I mean, for for the record, Roark did pointedly mention that you know instead of a coup, we could just wait until next week or a couple days. <laughs> given the rate of turnover. True, though, I'd rather not stay in the swamp for too long. Don't like it here. It's smelly. <laughs> it's not like it's the bug of eternal stench. No, it's uh, a good idea to head there and start preparing. So, uh, Are you going... if everyone's all for it, I would. Are you going with them? Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. To start examining the area, seeing what it's like. Seeing. Rourke is. Yeah. Rourke is so attempting if... to check out the scouting tower. Yeah. So I'm on the way. On the scouting tower. Okay, so there's nothing special about the scouting tower, the the watchtower. Um, but it's a tower. It, it's it's a tower. It's tallish. Can you see into the uh, area where we're? Where... No. Okay. But the oh, like just... the the watchtower is maybe you can see up to the fog here. And me, yeah, just across the river there. Okay, so we can't see into the trees the other way. Um, yes, no, because that's all fog. And the trees are dense enough. And the trees are really uh, trees are pretty dense as well, yeah. Uh, well, there goes my spam fireballs from a distance strategy. Muja pats. Uh... Perennius on the shoulder, and minor illusions in his face. 
Let's just play Roblox next to everybody. Did Taz turn into a robot for anyone else yeah, there as well? Did. Yeah. Briefly, yeah. Beep boop. Beep boop. Was I at least an understandable robot, or was it just electronic noise? Yeah, it's distorted, broken up. Okay, he just Muge just patted Tyranios on the shoulder and minor illusion piece of paper that said "better luck next time." Tyranios nods and just sort of heads towards where the ambush is being set up. If any of the uh, sort of the bullywugs are around, Tyranios will just sort of try and. See how good the idea of using the uh, minor illusion smaller game is, like how good the... Because I've never seen it move, so I'm assuming it hops like a rabbit. So I'm just the going old... to have the uh, minor illusion, air quotes, rabbit hop around and try and distract the people setting up the ambush to see if it's realistic or not. Um, You catch the... Mm. You know what, roll... A don't know what type of check sleight this of would hand? be. Yeah, roll a sleight of hand check to see if this works. Finally, I get to roll with a modifier. Hmm. Incoming that one. Exactly. Oh, wait, 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 wait. You catch the attention of uh, the three bollywogs that are near you. Catch the eye of a rock that's in the so, sky. I just sort of have the uh, the rabbit sort of act like it's coming out of the, the bushes or the shrubbery or the underbrush or what have you. Bounce around for a bit before acting like it's scarpering away before dismissing it out of sight. From the, re the reactions, does it seem like they, uh, they bought it? It does indeed. They all got pretty excited about seeing it. Good to know. That would definitely be useful. All of that training in the hut paid off. Yeah, who ended up winning the race? It was tied at 13 13. Um. <laughs> we had a lot of free time in the hut. Alright. Yeah. Um, so, what you guys see is you're just watching these bullywugs set up is um, they're just walking around looking for a good place to like hide themselves um, before uh, before the, the, the king arrives um, and you see them all kind of like testing eyeline sites and places around this small clearing with a um, it looks like a used campfire has has already been in the middle of it before. There's a little bit of scorched earth, a little bit of certain ash. Um, so uh, you can determine from that that the king has been here to hunt before, and this is a, a known a known spot for the king to be when he hunts. The sort of looking at how seriously they're taking it and how well they're preparing with checking the line of sights and everything, Corinius just sort of mutters, It seems they are the one thing they're actually quite competent at is killing their own monarch. That's some pride. It does appear you did not in agreement. Seems like they're probably pretty skilled, like fighters and hunters then, if they're able to kill each other quite well. Let's not go that far. That's fair. Huge and minor illusions piece of paper that asks who wants to play hide and seek. I'm always uh, up pain. When it's getting sort of closer to the time when the hunt's meant to take place and we sort of get word that the king's on the way, Karanius will uh, walk up to Vildrasin, hold him on the shoulder for a moment, and, well, if we get to that point, I'll actually uh, get there. If anyone wants to do anything first, then I'll 
Feel free. I definitely want to do something first. I would Man, like I shall to... hold off on that idea. I would like to take a break because I really need another drink. Okay. Okay. Sounds good. Yeah, I'm just going to make the. Uh, the plan I have is hopefully far, far more overkill than necessary for this game. I think I know what you're going to be nope. doing. <laughs> yes, it's, then, it's not obvious. I'll, 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 it's not exactly spoiler since I'll be doing it. I'm, I'm going. I'm going to give Vildred an invisibility. Magic missile. Magic missile. Mm -hmm. I think a fireball would have splatted every so long the as king I can and all his guards. As long as I can maintain concentration on it, you will be invisible for an hour. Nice. Oh my. I can take a lot of attacks to start things off then. <laughs> my real question is, what happens if the king just dies of that? Do they have a line of succession? No, they make the uh, the bacteria the king. <laughs> <laughs> they get a very, very tiny crown. All right, I I'd will... imagine it just becomes a power vacuum and a bloodbath ensues. I I will be right back. Uh, I'm gonna grab right. some water. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna zip off to the monk's room. I'll be back in a moment. Yeah, I found that I have like a paper cut or something like halfway through that, and I think it's.
I'm back with more water. Welcome back. I am back too. Yeah. Welcome back. Right, who are we waiting on? Uh, Dark I'm and here. Jen. <coughs> it's a roll call down the list. I'm here. Cast. I'm here. So I think it's just those two. Yeah. found out today, just random fact, that uh, Australia has a really strong coffee game. Like, they love their coffees and cafes over there. Like, something to do with, like, the way they had, like, Italian immigrants come in in the early 1900s, that, like, they were super ahead of, like, the coffee and cafe game compared to, like, the rest of the world, at least compared to us and America and whatnot. Starbucks crashed and burnt over there. As it should. Right? From what I understand it, uh, their coffee is always burnt. 
Wait, they don't brew, brew it properly, or they brew it too long or something? Um, kind of, yes. Yeah. To do with like the way you roast the beans, apparently, like, all the major coffee shops, like, make an insanely dark roast to the point where it's basically burnt. Um, and, like, that gives you the quote-unquote coffee flavour, but it kind of burns anything that's tasty out of coffee. Now, say this, I am not a, 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 a coffee connoisseur. I, I, I don't know what they're called, but... Coffee snobs. That's the ticket. But yeah, I, I've had some coffees that weren't just like, you know, Costa or Starbucks and being like, you know what, this is actually really good. C continues to go and have shit coffee. I am not a fan of coffee. At all. I was... Yeah, I wasn't a fan of the caffeine, um, so I've like weaned myself off it, but I did get to the point where I just gen generally liked coffee, like the taste of it and stuff like that. Yeah, like the I, I don't like the taste. And caffeine doesn't bother me. It, it, I used to think it didn't bother me until I just sort of went, how about I just like try not having coffee and like, oh no. Is everyone back? Uh. Welcome back, Doc. Hello. Sorry about that. That's Some okay. Like in temperature no. and everything's been messed up. It's awful. I will agree. I actually went to get an ice pack out the freezer. Which I am now sitting on. Alright, um... Are we all ready to move into the evening? Or is there anything else that anyone wanted to do? I think I'm good. I'm good. I mean, the only question I have was, did, did Muja actually want to play hide and seek, or is that just a joke? It was a joke. I saved with a single tear rolling down my cheek. <laughs> <laughs> You're an owl, you don't have tear ducts. Uh, at He's that, a Muja meld into the shadow at that. <laughs> He's a magical owl. He's the allowed to have hide... tear ducts. That is fair. Muja is going to be uh, stumbling though, as best he can. I knew that I turn around right. and go one, um, two. I will take stealth rolls from everyone, please. Uh, is this? Have we at this point? What do we have gotten word that the uh, the king is coming and whatnot? Yes, you have uh, word that the king is uh, five minutes away. All right. So before we do the uh, stealth rolls, I. Um, considering... Let me see. Uh, yeah. I'm going to do what I said before, which is go up to Vildresen. I'll tap him on the shoulder and say, have fun with this. And I am going to cast invisibility at third level and make both him and myself invisible. Ah. Uh. Ooh. Okay. Because I can cast. I have a th third level slots now, and invisibility is one additional creature per additional spell level. Noise. Okay. Attacking slash casting makes the creature visible. Um. So you get one use out of it. Yeah. I'm also going to uh, use something I picked up from my next my last level up. I'm going to manifest my echo. What's that? I'm an Echo Knight. Oh, fuck. So I have a, What's that? I have, a tra I have a translucent image of myself nearby, or next to me. Is it like an illusion? Is it harmless? It, 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 no, it is very much not harmless. It's, it's harmless. harmless. Don't, Don't worry about, about it. it. Don't no, worry no, about no, 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 no. Uh, Abby, uh, Echo of. Uh, with Echo Knight is basically uh, he's in two places at once 
uh, so long as that echo is alive. Yeah, it's basically uh, a shadow it... clone with one health. Yeah. You can, you can oh. swap places with. Naruto shadow clone, got it. Okay. Yeah. yeah. The moment someone sneezes on it, it's done. It's more yeah, like no, it is genuinely from that. Yeah. Yeah. With the uh, invisibilities cast, I am going to roll for stealth, I suppose. Does being invisible help with stealth? Uh, yes. Yes, it does. It gives, uh, is it advantage or is it like a set number? I can't remember. Pass without a trace is a set number. Let me double check invisibility's description if it says. Uh, I don't think it says it. It doesn't say it's presumably up to the M discretion. Uh, I will say it gives you advantage then. Oh, good. Okay. I shall do my uh, two rolls separately since I still don't know how to properly. Yeah, you just saved a very poor roll with the advantage. <laughs> Hooray! Uh, 23. 17. Seventeen. If I had known you had worse stealth than me, I would have made you invisible. Okay. The chances are Ruark might take to the treetops and watch out for runners. Uh, what did you say yours was, Shadow? Twenty-three. What would it have been if I uh, hadn't made you invisible? Ten. Ooh. That's uh, a very low roll for your... Uh... Doc, what was, yeah. what was your roll, Stealth? I haven't rolled yet. Uh, like I said, I think Rourke is probably going to take to the treetops and watch out for runners. Okay, but you can you can still try and Stealth while you're in the air. It is dark, after all. Yep, I'm just trying to find the button. Alright, you guys very successfully managed to hide yourselves. Um, I was gonna say something before we started combat. Oh, right. Um, if anyone in chat is watching, um, you can roll three natural 20s with exclamation mark d20. Um, if you roll three natural 20s, you get to give inspiration to um, any of the characters. I think it was any of the characters I said it to. Yay. 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 That is not allowed to steal my role as inspiration slot. Uh, can you still hear me? Yes. Yeah. You can. Okay, I'm having some... Wait, no. That wasn't the response I was supposed to use. So my route is having some issues. Oh no. In that the Wi-Fi just turned off. I'm on a wired connection on my PC, but the Wi-Fi just died. Ooh. That I'm gonna go goodness. see what's up with that real quick. Push comes to show maybe and just need to reset your router. So every now and again, unplugging it and plugging it back in just kind of clears out all the crap. Gives it a nice fresh boot. Just kind of, um, lean over to the group and be like, so, uh, what's the underover of the, uh, Frog King being able to, like, swallow and eat people? Because I can't do this three days in a row. Uh, out of character, did we already meet the king? I mean, he's a pretty standard Yeah, 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 you've met him and Felderson threatened him. Yeah. Oh, yeah, and no, I know we've met him, but it's more just, like... No, he cannot swallow you. His stomach is not a void. Not like a certain haggling. Not like certain haggling.
I'm just waiting for uh, Gent to come back before mm -hmm. he, uh, they change scenes or anything. Yep. Disconnected. Hmm? He hasn't disconnected. He hasn't, no. But can't have completely. He's probably poking it with a stick. Possibly. Possibly. They have seen him eating it. That's possible. Wouldn't be an online D&D session without at least one technical difficulty, right? Unfortunately. sorted itself out, but that's not the first time it's happened. The router is basically dying. So, yeah, that's irritating, and I have no idea if I can call them to fix it or replace it, because the account is currently in an ambiguous state. Sent an email almost a week ago that's sort of transfer of account holder and everything. They say it should take within a week for them to get back, and they haven't gotten back. Seems like it's time to call them then. Yeah. Alright. So you've hidden yourselves and you are waiting for the king and his entourage to arrive. Nope. Okay. No. Is Pancake silent for everyone else? Yes. Correct. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Pancake? Snake? Snake?
different kind I mean, it's of It's active, problem. so... It's active, it's... but it's silent. I can't figure it out. Let's try it again. Yeah, ex just execute Pancake again. Execute Pancake. There we go. Take him out back. Oh, there we go. Now it's playing. Ah, yes. Alright, so... Here you guys go. This is the map. Um... I will put you guys on the map, but you can move yourselves around to where you, uh, wanna be. If it's gonna let me drag things onto the map. <laughs> Bird men are very burby. <laughs> Mutants in the fire. Um, I yeah. also will say that um, Amanita uh, is with Morgul stealing the uh, the balloon. Hey guys, all right. Oh, pause. Just just um, to explain why he's not here. Can I have another me? Can you have another you? Why? What's wrong with this one? The, no, the Echo Knight. Echo. Oh. It is it's sad, Abby noises. <laughs> it's sad me. I'm gonna put, um... I'm gonna put a blue dot on it so we know that that one's the echo. Okay, yeah, I was about to put the marker on. Or is it? Dun, dun, dun. Alright, are you all settled where you want to be? Yep. I, actually, I can't Hold see on. you, can I? Um... Yeah, I'd probably just be waiting next to uh, the other blue wigs. Billy wig. Um, Ranios, do you want to do you want to be next to uh, Veldrasen? Because of the invisibility, or...? I'd cast that with about five minutes to spare, and I could, I could wander over here quite easily. Okay. you guys are all ready now um you see in front of you uh the king and his entourage set up bonfire and they are starting to plan their night activities and early morning activities Who wants to make the first move? 
because none of them have Ruark. noticed you. Ruark will make swamp burb noises. Ruark will make swamp bird noise. Can I have a performance track? <laughs> I do it, oh, no. I do it at advantage since I'm an actual bird. Yes. <laughs> Shit. Performance. Boop. <laughs> nice, 21. Yeah. You make swamp that, bird that nine was too close for comfort. <laughs> <laughs> and you all kind of perk up a little bit and look around. See if they can see where it was coming from. One of them, yeah. one of them gets, gets up and he starts making his way over to, uh... They're all in very nice yeah. proximity. He's just gonna, he's just gonna walk through the brush a little bit to, uh, relieve himself. Unfortunately, Rourke is neutral good, so he cannot in good conscience jump a dude while taking a piss. <laughs> that, that, just that just ain't right, yo. <laughs> Could they be uh, Sorry, I, I don't lasted. want to get any on me. <laughs> well, they're yeah. all together. What I was going to say is, uh, if no one else, it looks like no one else is making a move. Seems like I wasted a higher level spell slot making myself invisible. Because considering how clustered they are and how eager I've been to try it out. Yeah. I'm gonna fireball it. Oh my god. He did it. No he did the thing. Anything. He did it. Yep. He did it, chat. I was I was waiting for that. Yeah. Now what color what type of fireball do I want it to be fire? Do I want it to be You know what, since it's the first one I'm casting, I'll I'll, I'll just do a classic regular fireball. I won't make it fancy. Okay. Won't do thunder, won't do ice. Just pure fire. Which okay. is a twenty foot radius around the center. So gonna... if I center it on the campfire, it goes out that far, that far, that far, that far. Basically all of them get toasted. And it is going to be a Dex save to avoid it. Okay. So I I'm invisible, so I don't even bother describing what I do. Just a flash where my arcane focus of a ring is and a just in front of it from where my finger would be a small flash of light shoots out directly at the campfire and then a big old explosion happens Ew. it's a deck save yeah it is a deck save for half damage and they need to get a 15 or higher okay. that is i'm DC. gonna roll all of the uh the bullywog knights as one That's a six. So full damage on those. And on the king, 13. Full damage, my spell save DC is 15. Oh my god. So that is 8d6 fire damage. 8d6 fire damage, you okay? Yep. You wanna roll uh, let me double check some things. If I had made it ice, would I have gotten more? Which I don't think I get that until next level. Uh, yeah, I wouldn't get that until, wouldn't get that until my another level up, but so yeah, there's 8d6 of fire damage, three ones and two sixes, and a two, that's basically slap bang in the middle, right, like six six, one oh, that one, is no, that's actually low, that's low, that's, quite that's extremely low, average. yeah, so only 25 points of fire damage to all of them. Well, admittedly, ice seems to be more your forte. <laughs> Indeed. I'm slowly learning that, and I'm slowly going to sort of build into that. Now, these Bollywogs should have to make a uh, intelligence check to figure out if it was just a fi the fire exploding. Oh, I'm, no longer, I'm no longer invisible. Damn it. 
Uh, but are you hiding behind like a bush or something? Yeah, I, I'm still in the shrubbery here. Okay, what I will say is that uh, there is... Uh, you just launched a fireball. There's quite a bit of smoke. So <laughs> they're coughing, they're spluttering, they're rubbing their eyes, they're screaming. Um, mildly inconvenienced. Mildly inconvenienced. Um, and they are hurt. They are hurt quite badly. Except the the king seems to look he he's definitely been burnt um and he is coughing with the rest of them but he doesn't look as badly damaged as the others well it's a good start if anyone wants to rush in while we still have the element of surprise you do still oh, have yeah. the element of surprise but i, I will still i will still take a uh, turn order initiative Please. Okay, I was sure. gonna say I'll be in next. I was waiting for that to go off before I ran in. Okay. Sure. Yeah. yeah. Initiative. Um, Oof. Glad that I did it when we weren't think on that. That's low. Hey yo. I won that twenty. How do you select your token? Uh, click it. Click it. Because I did, and it's still giving me the. Oh, there's you no have the arrow button. on the top left. Yeah, I know that's that's what I did, but it didn't. Uh, Radius was eleven, wasn't it? Yep. Yeah. I am slow. I uh sixteen. Don't worry, buddy. Even with a plus five to my initiative, I'm down there with you. What did you say? It was was five. I said I have a plus five. Mine's already up. Uh, what was what was yours, Valtrisan? Sixteen. Sixteen. Not too bad. Yeah. Okay. It's not until next level when I get the uh, damage bonus of adding my charisma modifier to oh, cold gosh. damage. And I have a very good charisma modifier to add to my damage. I got to do the thing. You did get to do the thing. And now everything will be dead before I get my turn. I ignore this roll. I'm just testing just to see if this... Okay. I just want to make sure that that was working. Because I thought I had my token selected, but apparently not. By any as the DM rolls all the enemies that we don't see. No, I'm just trying to order it. Because for some reason it doesn't automatically order it. Okay. 
Okay. Um, it's Veldrasen's turn because he was uh, going to go next. Um. Okay. Uh. I will. Um. Yeah. I'm going to start my blade song, my bonus action. And then I'm going to move uh, into here. Mm -hmm. And move myself to there. And then I am going to attack uh let's see i'll i'll you know what? i'll attack that one first and when i use an attack uh, i'm also going to unleash my incarnation to make an attack for my echo as well onto that one okay <laughs> so nice. one attack against each of them uh first one that's my rapier i'll do uh that one um, that is, what's my rapier, plus seven? Oh, yeah, no, uh, 22 to hit. That definitely hits. Uh, that deals 11 damage. Okay, that one's looking extremely rough now. All right, the one from my echo. Um, he was attacking this one. That's yeah. That's going to be seventeen to hit. That hits. Uh, that deals nine damage. Okay, he's looking quite rough as well now. Um, I am going to action surge. And I'm going to do that over again. Of course you are. Okay. All right. Uh, first one from mine. Uh, a twenty-three to hit. I don't think you need to ask if that hits. Um. Let's go to. Echo Ooh, does less go damage. Back. Five damage. Five damage. Yep. He's he's dead. Yay. So I'll secure that one, and then the next attack is 17 to hit. That Same hits. one. Yeah. Um, that is 8 damage. Alright, and that's all I was going to do. Um, the rest of the Bollywog Knights have recovered mostly from uh, the sudden kaboom and they're kind of rubbing their eyes coughing look and, and looking around to see oh, what just happened and they see your echo or uh this one here sees sees your echo stood next to him and he sputters out a ambush and he's going to try and attack you with his spear and he and as you're in melee range he's going to I don't think a seven hits, does it? No. No. Okay, he's still suffering from smoke, and uh, he he actually misses. Um, the one next to him, he's recovered the same amount. He just steps up, and he's also gonna try and hit you with a spear. <laughs> I give up. I give up being DM. Pass the <laughs> over. 
Um, he, he does. All right, that. boys. <laughs> He Admittedly, wrecks. if you read the fluff text on all these guys, they're kind of garbage in a fair fight. <laughs> yeah. Makes sense. Well, it's a good this thing isn't exactly, it's not a fair fight. You know, yeah, but I mean, like, they, they go out of their way to fight dirty because they know <laughs> they fuck. That's, that's more of the Bullywog way. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah all we, right. we just made it not a fair fight in the other <laughs> Yeah. Uh, this guy sees sees his very dead friend, and he's gonna try and step around. He's gonna try and take a stab at you as well. A 14 hit? No. Okay. Okay. I mean, basically, this whole thing can be rationalized as every one of those guys is on heavy tilt. <laughs> I'm tilted, dude. <laughs> and and they also have like a shit ton of like soot ash and whatever in their eyes, so soot they're ash. lucky they can't even see straight enough to stab. Yeah, <laughs> true, true. They just lost their placement matches. All right, so <laughs> this this guy, he's he's. Oh wait, hold on, I forgot about this guy. He's going to uh, well, which guy? The the bad guy stood next to you. The one who separated himself because he needed to go pee. Oh. He just went to go to the toilet and then boom, right behind <clears> him. <throat> just an echoing blast. He kind of just looks around is... and he's like, oh. Also, anything mm. flammable, specifically lists in the description for fireball, anything flammable is on fire. So those logs are on fire. <laughs> okay. All the, the logs. Is on fire. Are fire. Okay. I won't say that the mud's on fire, because... I'm fairly mud. sure the mud wouldn't be flammable. Yeah, it's wet. No. I don't know, maybe it has a lot of chemicals. <laughs> maybe. We're um, actually in a peat bog. <laughs> um, yeah. So, this guy, he kind of just, like, heard the boom behind him. And he kind of looks around and he's... Oh. Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> oh. He just makes a big yikes face. Yikes. <clears throat> um, well, not my problem anymore. And he just, he continues to, to pee. Um, Man, this guy's got long stream energy. Yeah. Alright, this guy, um, hearing that, he's going to just... He's going to stay put where he is, and he's going to keep an eye on this guy uh, to make sure that uh, that he doesn't come charging in and killing anyone. Uh, this guy is going to... Come running in, and he's going to try and yeet his spear at uh, this bullywug here. And, uh, forgive me for using the exact same stat block, but I could not be bothered to build a second one that was identical. He's gonna miss! And... This bullywug lives another round, I guess. This guy is gonna come running in. He's also gonna try and yeet a spear at, uh, the same bullywug. And he also misses. Because, you know. You're just Omega lulling. This guy comes running in. And. Seven range? No, I'm really not seeing any redeeming features of these bullywogs. I know. My rolls are poor. He's gonna try and yeet. Frog's legs are supposed to be delicious. Fucking misses. I think that's just French propaganda to just They're slimy. Roll20 doesn't want to let instance. me do anything with my NPCs. Roll20, why? Classic Roll20 if you ask me. Why you gotta be like this? Why you gotta be so rude? He's also going to try 
gets closer, but still no. He's gonna try. <gasps> he fucking hits! It's a miracle! Oh my God. <laughs> he looked out. Uh, Truly really unheard of. He did look out. Alright, so he is going to... Uh, it was... One, two, I quit. Why? You rolled 1d plus 1. I rolled 1d plus 1, and apparently I rolled a 0. No, but 1d, oh, 1D 0. Oh my god. Yeah. I see my mistake, thank you. <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake. Okay. <laughs> Q does not do much, you guys. <laughs> It's just a flesh wound. Alright, last one. What would it be? Three, be? Four. He's gonna try as well. Last guy. He misses. And that's just how it be in this bitch of a world. It is. It is. Ruark, it's your turn. Uh, Ruark is gonna go jump little Mr. Piddles over here. <laughs> you said that he was like. <laughs> No, he said no, that he, he wouldn't. He, he no, he had a chance. No, that that was then. This is now. Lots happened since then. <laughs> <laughs> Two deaths and a lot of misses. All right. So let's see here. All right. So I guess I will. Um, am I at advantage, by the way? Um. I'm... No. Well, wouldn't it be a surprise attack okay. since he wouldn't know that? Yeah. Because, one, he doesn't know I'm there. Two, he's peeing. <laughs> oh, yeah. That, okay, yeah. Definitely, then. That's an advantage. Note and... to self, never piss. Yeah. No, I mean, I, I, I gave him some time. didn't see it, but when I went around the uh, back of the uh, hut earlier, there was no disguise thing. I was like, that was actually just a real uh, bully work. <laughs> I had to have a fault, an entire encounter to myself. Oh, I presume. Off camera. Good. Didn't even need an advantage. <laughs> well, you know, due diligence. Uh, uh, Perfectly yeah. balanced. Yeah, that hurts. Okay. And well, just goes I'm not trying to kill him. I'm just going to knock him right the fuck out if I can. Okay, you're going to non lethal? Yeah, yeah. Okay. I mean,. Killing seems a little excessive at, at this point, and the and Ruark is of the mind that these guys are pretty uh, mentally and emotionally malleable. So, I don't think it would take much to convince this guy to uh, get on the right side of the uh, wagon here. Uh, this one. Oh no, that wasn't the right one. How do I roll damage? Oh, that's right. I have to wait. There we go. Bonk. Okay, so he he takes a little bit of damage. Okay, and now for my second attack. Guess I can do that now. Yeah, that hits. Cool. Five. Is is he still conscious? He is definitely still conscious. Remember that he didn't get hit in the blast, so he was at full health. Oh no 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 no! I'm, I'm I, I don't know how much hit points these guys have. That's what I'm saying. Okay, cool. And in that case, uh, let's see here. <laughs> I will spend a key point for stunning strike. Let's see here. Must make a con save versus fifteen. A con save. Or he's stunned until the end of my next turn. Lap down that constitution. <laughs> he is Omega stunned. <laughs> 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 uh, 
bonk. Yeah. I spent my good roll allowance on roll 20 for the month on initiative. <laughs> <laughs> it do be like that. Does he take damage from that or is it just stunned? Nope, nope, he's just. He is. Let's see here. Uh, did again, give me one coming to the next target. Must succeed on a con save or be stunned until. Yeah, he doesn't take damage. He's just pretty much out of commission until the end of my next turn. Okay. Uh, I will. I will do that then. Just mark him with the stun marker. Um. Yep, that works. And that's your the end of your turn. Yep, that is the end of my turn. Muja, who do you want to sleep? Uh, who said that I was going to do that? <laughs> <laughs> who slandered me? <laughs> well, hey, to Sorry, be fair, I was, I to sleep. it's not slander. I was temporarily distracted by the fact that I think I see like a tiny mustache on the uh, bully one next to uh, uh, Pow. Oh, on Illig? Yeah. It's not a mustache. For all I know, it just looks like one. Well, he has a mustache. No, he has a monocle, though. Oh no, he does have a mustache! What? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's a, it's a very teeny <laughs> tiny one. It's so it's small! A teeny tiny mustache, like, on the side, like, just oh. next to his nose. I made the marker earlier, and I didn't even realize. That's fine, there's nothing wrong with having a mustache. There isn't, but his is absolutely tiny. I mean, if, he's, if, he's, if he plans on being a, a fashionable king. Hmm. So, 10 foot radius, huh? But I'll pop that one as well. God damn it. Why'd that fucker have to move? All I wanted was You've just got that Tetris frog. piece in the slightly wrong place at the last second. I hate that fucking frog. Blame it on I'm tempted to pop him anyways. Which, which it's his own which damn one? fault for rushing in. All the uh, I wanted to do a certain spell. Yeah, I wanted to do a certain spell, but uh, sadly there's a frog. Just with well, I mean, you can hit my echo. Is it? Uh, you can hit my echo. Sphere. Are you sure? Cause... Yeah, go for my echo. All right, cool. I'm going to cast Shatter uh, right here <laughs> uh, and get the, these three frogs in the echo. Uh, I'm pretty sure my echo is immediately destroyed. Though. Is that a save? It will be a con save. Okay. What? What is the? Con That's some yikers damage. Is it against? Uh, it's right there. Against 16? Yep. Okay. Damn. The top one is is fine. The second one isn't, and the king um, definitely isn't. Get galloped. I'm just gonna move my echo token away because. Uh yeah, Gone. I can I can delete it if you want. No, no, just... Oh, no, he'll, he'll be able to resummon it in, like, five seconds. Alright, in that case, I will put a dead marker on it for now. Uh, they will take 12 damage. Those who failed, the top one took six. Uh, so was that 12 damage? Yeah. Okay. And the one at the top took six, yeah? Yeah. Some very mediocre shadow damage, my guy. Below average, I'm not amused. Game. All right, so, um, this middle one is looking really rough. Uh, the one above him is not doing much better, and the king, he's he's still hanging in there. He's not. I didn't pop any frogs. You did not pop I didn't any get frogs. to pop any frogs. Was that the end of your turn? I just move over here to get a better look. I'll pop them next time. 
<laughs> okay. Uh, Cranius, your turn. Uh, is this still the surprise round? Mm -mm. Nope. No, it'll be the did top the... of the round now. Did the king attack? Mine... No. My roll, if it's top of the round, my roll was 11. I'm the lowest. Yeah, but you went first because of the... Okay, yeah. Uh, sure. Uh, who's left? What do I have left, even? There's mm. two knights and the king left. Two, not three. Oh, you just can't three. do the X's. On the map. I can see two above and one below. Three knights and one king. Okay. If it were just the king left, I could put my disguise back on and just come out and claim the kill, but sadly we're not in that position yet. You are not so, what's my best bet? I'm out of third level spell slots. If I want to hit multiple targets, it's Scorching Ray, and since I was slightly disappointed with the fireball not hitting as hard as I'd hoped, I'm going to burn a sorcery point to change the damage to my preferred type of cold, because I always seem to have more luck with that. So it'll be Freezing Ray instead of Scorching Ray, which will be at three, three rays. Hit creature on spell attack with each ray for... okay. So I need to... I'm going... I'm trying to figure out, can I tar... do I have to... You know what, screw it, I'll just do one at each. Just not the king, but one at each of the uh, the fodder. I mean the knights. Uh, magic missile? Uh, scorching ray, but with cold damage. Um, sure, roll to hit. Okay. Let me just mark off my second level spell. That is a spell attack, which is plus seven. And it's for each ray, so... 1d20 plus seven. This is for the first knight. The one at the top? Yeah, Sure, that we'll hits. go from top to bottom. Yeah, that hits. That hits. And that hits. Those are some high freaking rolls there. So yeah, that is ice is where it's at, baby. Yep, that is three potentially three frogsicles. That is a total of two d six because I changed it cold damage per ray. Should I just roll the damage and use it for each ray, or um, how does your choice is DM? Oh, it's two d six per ray, so I think it can be done separately. Or do you want me to go through it in order? Your choice. Uh, yeah, go through it in order. Alright, so the first one takes five points of cold damage. Okay. The one in the middle takes ten points of cold damage. Okay. And the bottom one takes nine points of cold damage. Okay. How many foxicles did I make? Not. Uh, you, uh, you obliterated this one in the middle. Uh, the other two are looking really, really uh, rough. Thought I could be fancy with the cold damage. At least you killed one of them. Just like the uh, the first Fantastic Four films, what happens to I? What happens to metal when it hot metal when it's rapidly cooled? <laughs> Do I get the uh, Doctor Doom effect. Yeah, pretty not? much. <laughs> nice. All right. Um, Illig is going to. He's going to move. Three, four. And he's going to hold his action until he sees King Gullop look worse for wear, uh, more worse for wear than he currently is. So, Pal, it's your turn. Okay, so Pal's going to immediately just move up 40 feet to the king. 
<laughs> Seeing the Echo Knight die, like, not really knowing what the Echo Knight is and is really confused. It's just like, wait, no, but, 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 and bonus action rage. Um, and in doing so, I'm going to throw 1d6 uh, lightning damage towards Mr. Um, King over there. So he needs to make a DC 14 constitution saving throw. I think it's common. One okay. second. Okay. Seems kind of fast, right? I'm going silly. Dexterity is dexterity, sorry. Oh, dexterity, not con? Okay. Yeah. 17. Ah, uh, so they'll take like half damage. Okay. Oh, if I clicked, it would have said, dang it. Okay. Um, so they take half of two. Half of, what's half of two, you guys? <laughs> but a painful, painful number, yes. I think you rounded up to two. <laughs> <laughs> is it everybody in the aura or is it just enemies and... it's one target oh. uh wait a sec is this a resist are they having to resist something or did you roll to get over their dc it was um, no, it, it was a dexterity save okay so it was a save so you didn't roll for an attack or anything no okay and then, as my first attack, I'm going to swing me axe. Okay. And it's going to be a normal roll. Oh, for wait, fuck. right. Oh, wait, that's a natural one. Never mind. That's a natural one. If it was anything but a nat one, yeah, but I you didn't roll to hit. Play. But that is to hit. That is that is to hit. Yeah, that misses. <laughs> you, you got some soot in your eye at the last second. You you There's breathed in smoke. Some, some smoke as you, like go to swing your axe and you cough at the wrong moment and your axe misses and beds itself into the ground <laughs> I just leave the axe there for a second and I go in for a grapple as my second attack uh, is that a dex save? so it's my strength athletics versus their strength athletics or dexterity acrobatics depending on which one they want to pick okay we'll go with strength and because I'm raging, I get advantage on my strength checks. Hey, I'm all immediately guys. Ah, yeah. oh, close. <laughs> oh, that was close. That was scarily close. That was close. <laughs> okay, uh, so he is now grappled. Hey, he's dead. What, what is happening? Get, get off! Get off! And I'll like have head. him in like a full Nelson, and I'll be using my hands to like point towards his eyes. Um. Yeah, why not? Illig's gonna <laughs> he's gonna run right in, and he's going to, with your help, he's gonna slam a small dagger into the eye of King Gollop. Um, and before he nat ones the stab and misses. <laughs> he stabs me, so I'm many, turning. I'm on the so king's side if he stabs planning. me. Uh... No, with your help, he, he definitely hits. Um, I'm just gonna swap that. What's a damage stat for a for a dagger? Uh, I got that in my inventory. I've got one. Right? It's uh, one d four plus plus uh, yeah. dex or strength. Whatever. Yeah. yeah. Uh, dex or strength or whichever is higher. Yeah, because okay. it's a finesse weapon. A four! He takes four damage from that and he loses an eye. Ow, oh, you a hole, you stabbed me in the eye. Yeah, What's wrong with you? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, um, on to Gollop's turn. Uh, is it a strength save to try and get out of the grapple? 
Uh, it's a, it's a, con a grapples it's... contests or saves? I think they're contests. No, grapples are it's contests. Contest. Okay, he's gonna try and get out of the grapple. He can still use dex acrobatics to get out. Yeah, but he's not gonna do that. Okay. I'm, I'm just saying, it is a choice, it's not just... Uh, that's a 17. Please ignore the nat 20. So I now... will. I definitely will. <laughs> 19. Still grapple. Nice. Still grapple. I'm trying. Okay. I'm just waiting for my opportunity to be helpful and give someone a small little buff and everyone's doing fine without me. Aww. Alright. As... Four counts. King Gollop can't really... do anything. Because trying to get out of a grapple is an action, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I figured with the way things are going and considering how these people are, he's probably yeah. going to try and run away. So I was like, if I just make his movement zero, you know. <laughs> escape, escape, isn't it? All right. Uh, it is. Oops. It's Veldrasen's turn. Uh, hmm. Do. Want to? Yeah, you know what? Why not? They're lined up. Um, I am going to. Uh, I'm going to cast Tasha's Caustic Brew. Of oh, course man. you are. Nicely lined up. It is nicely lined up. Focus it in my mouth and then spew a line of acid through these two. Okay. And then I'm going to uh, bonus action create my echo over here. Okay. Actually, no. Let's do it on. Do it on that one. So I think it's within thirty feet. I can s summon it. Let me just double check that. I think it's 30, it could be 15. Um, Is your echo not going to be stirred in the caustic brew? Well, that's summoned it off. I'll put it there. Okay. So it will need to be there. Oops. Uh, have, have you done the deck saves for the Caustic Brew yet, or? Uh, nope. The 16 uh, for the night, and... Okay, it's DC 18. 15. So they both escape it. They both escape it, but they take half damage, right? Um, no, no. If they, if they dodge it, then they uh, don't take... If they, they dodge don't it, get they dodge it. Okay. Yeah. Is that, uh, do you want to move at all, or? No, I'll stay there. Okay. So, it is now the knight's turn. The, this one up here, he's going to try and attack your, uh, shadow clone. <sighs> that misses. Here we go again. Yep. And the other one's gonna try and hit you with his stick. 14. Nope. Okay. In that case, that's... That's everything that they're gonna try and do. Uh, the rebel... Um... This one's gonna try and come up and help you, uh, Ruach. So he's going to... Try and... He's actually gonna try a multi attack, so he's gonna uh and for for the for the bullywugs uh, a multi attack is one bite and one spear poke. So let's see. So, it, it, the, so do they do they in fact have teeth? Or is it just a really hard gumming? It's a <laughs> <laughs> Uh, 
it's the letter of the two. <laughs> uh, so Fuck, bite, we all have dentures. <laughs> the bite misses, and the spear misses because they're fucking useless creatures, and I hate bully woods. Uh, Abby's don't, don't counting the seconds before we move away from Bollywood Town. <laughs> I really am. Okay, They're he's... trying. She's just excited They're for us trying. to get to the hag where she has all the toys to kill us with. Yep. Um, but the... we'll have an army of Bollywogs. The, the second rebel, he's going to try a multi attack as well. Oh! That hits. Oh, damn. And that, that bite hits. was for all of his bu <laughs> that bite was for all of his bullywog brothers and sisters. <laughs> it really was. Uh, okay, so um, the bite is um. Three. I still like the idea that they have battle dentures. <laughs> Although I am amused that it that is a very min maxed. Because there's a 20 on the first one and a 0 on the second one. <laughs> yeah. Alright, so that one takes 8 damage from the bite. And he doesn't get to hit him with a spear because he is now dead. Yay. 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 And in that case, uh, this one's going to... Just, he's gonna come in a bit closer. And so is this one. And so is this one. And this guy, oh, hold on, wait, no. This guy here, he's going to try and yeet his spear at the last remaining knight. And he hits! It's a Yay. miracle. Yeah. It's not that much of a miracle. It it barely hit. There's only so much miracle. You can you can either He's, have accuracy or power. This guy <laughs> is is he is very much on his last legs. Um this guy is gonna come in and he is going to go for a bite attack. And no. he hits. Yay. And he is most certainly dead. Now that, well, now that all the knights are gone, it's just the king left, and the rebels are. Who are supporters of Illig have been given orders to not attack the uh, the king in case they're the ones that land the killing blow. So Ruark, it is now your turn. Um, hmm. how how roughed up does this guy look over here? Uh, buh, 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 let me find his health. Um. If you make a, I'll let you choose, nature or medicine check, I can tell you what percentage of health he is at. Okay. Uh, let's see here. I guess I'll try for a medicine check. He's alive. <laughs> yep, he is still alive. Well, uh, well, since everything like over here seems to be managed, from what Roar can see, he's not. Uh, I mean, he's he's not gonna he's not gonna land a killing blow on this guy. I mean, like I said, it seems a little extraneous if if little little Hopper over here wants to fucking do him dirty, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mean Rourke, Rourke yeah. will, 
he's pretty much gonna chill, but if if this if this guy's gonna make a move, he'll probably throttle the shit out of him. <laughs> okay, so you're just gonna um, hold your action until he moves. Yeah. Okay, and you said yeah. he was stunned until his next your next turn, so he's no longer stunned, right? Until, yeah. Yep. He's he's got his wits about him. What little there are. Okay. Um. In that case, he's just gonna like look at you, look at the other bullywog, and he says, "Uh, please don't kill me." Hold on a second. Oh, Jesus Christ. I hate it when I try to get a link for an image and it's like a fucking paragraph long. Hold on a sec. Let me see if I can find a smaller link. Well, basically, Ruark is going to glare down at him and just be, stay down. He, he, he nods uh, wordlessly. Alright, um, if that's your turn... Nuja! Must resist, must resist. I can't just sleep him. <coughs> Aren't you? <laughs> I've been incited. I'm going this <laughs> now. <laughs> uh, Muja just gonna watch. You don't need to do nothing. Okay, so he's holding his turn as well. Renios. Must resist. He must must resist regicide. Do I resist regicide, though? Roll to resist regicide. Wisdom save. Oh, there we go. That works. Yeah, do Wisdom it, Wisdom save to resist regicide. <laughs> well. <laughs> Is that a, a fail on the resist? I have no idea. I didn't even set the conditions in my head. Also, even if I were to do it, I can't think of a way to get away with it, because it would be an action to disguise myself, and then another to attack. I will... No, I'll just hold my action in case something looks like it's about to go wrong. Okay. Like the king's about to break free or escape or something. Other than that, I'll just hold where I am. Okay, then. I sadly can't turn this into me becoming, being crowned king, and I'm disappointed. Um, Illig is going to... He's going to... He's gonna take back his 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 knife from the from the eye, and he's gonna go for the other eye. If he misses, I'm gonna laugh. <laughs> uh, hopefully he won't. What is what is it to hit with a dagger? It's just your uh, attack modifier, so 1d20 plus strength or dex, whichever is higher. Okay. It's a finesse weapon. Uh, seven doesn't and hit. <laughs> it's also if they also if they have proficiency or not. I'd I'd say he's proficient. I don't think that's going to make a proficiency difference. Proficiency would be seven. plus two or three then for that level. I already put the plus three in. The plus three was from dex, not proficiency. Oh, was it not? Well, that would make it a 10, which would yeah, still I, I miss. I don't think that's making a difference. Is the king currently sleeping? No. Okay, then no advantage. Yeah. You see, I could be helpful and do the thing that I was going to do if someone wasn't doing well in the fight. But I'm not doing that here because it's too funny watching him fail to stab the guy. 
<laughs> oh no. Alright, so. It misses. Um. So he's just gonna. He's just gonna stand there and go, Stay still while I'm trying to kill you! And it is now Bow's turn. <laughs> Literally got him in like a full Nelson, just like, What do you want from. Okay. <laughs> and like, because I got my weapon down, I'm <laughs> just going to like channel my inner Ruark and just start melee um, unarmed striking him <laughs> non lethally. Uh, okay. Yeah, after he screams, stop moving. Uh, everyone everyone around just kind of has that awkward side glancing. <laughs> if it goes back around to my turn, I'm going to do something. Just if it goes back around to my turn, I am going to do something. Okay. Okay. Uh, so, actually, first things first. Um, Storm Aura. Um, DC 14 dex check. Or fucking two lightning damage. <laughs> Zap. Don't 16. tase me, bro. So, 16, 16, one 16. lightning damage. You're basically just uh, building up a static charge, like with a balloon or what have you, and then poking him every turn. Well, I am fluffy, and he is kind of like a balloon with his like, weird frog skin, so... I mean, if you want anyway. to roll up all over him, I mean, anyway, go. I mean again, full <laughs> Nelson. Um, I'm going to reckless attack and just stop um, attacking him. I'm also actually going to quickly. I'm going to like rotate back here, so I'm like pointing the king in the direction of Illig right now. Okay. And yeah, so reckless attack and just do a bunch of unarmed strikes. Um, are you holding back from killing and going for unconsciousness? Yes. Non lethal. Um, so that's. Oh, I'm actually going to have to do this manually because I don't have unarmed strikes just ready. Uh, so that'd be 1d20 plus. Reach strength plus proficiency, wouldn't it? So. That's 5. Uh, 18 hits. Yeah, that hits. Mm. And the second one, natural 20. <laughs> is that the damage? Uh, the damage is three, seven damage. Uh, is that total? Yeah. Okay, he's looking... I'm channeling Ruark, I'm not as good as Ruark at it. He's, he's... Yeah, he's very close to just if I had healing used my him. Last turn to, if I didn't save my action and if I had used my last turn to disguise myself. <laughs> okay, it is Gollop's turn. He's going to try and bite uh, bite you, Bao. So... Okay. He has advantage because I reckless attacked. 25. That will hit me. Okay, that's... Wait, did he just attack? He um, attacked me, yeah. And hit? Yes. With the advantage... Okay, um, I'm going to reaction silvery barbs. Uh, <laughs> roll again, use your lowest roll. What? <laughs> that's not fair. <laughs> that's not fair. <laughs> We're not here to be fair. Okay. And I'm going to take advantage on my next attack. Attack roll. As... Ability check or saving throw. So... Does Shadow really do fair? No, no, <laughs> he doesn't. So, does like. What does Steel Rebob mean? What does that mean? Silvery Bobs. It's a reaction. Um, if something successfully attacks or makes an ability check or saving throw, I can force them to re roll it and use the lower roll. And then I get a I get to give advantage to a different creature. Okay. For the next. Okay. Your turn. Oh, and look at that! Just after I give myself a, wonderful. <laughs> this wasn't planned at all. 
Definitely not. Um, I'm going to try and smack him with my rapier and knock him out if knock him out rather than if he gets if he gets him. yeah non-lethal so okay. if, if he gets low enough for that he's uh smacked upside the head okay. um el kabonk oh damn it all right um that is a 26 to head yeah that hits oh, that was that was one off a 20. Um, and that is 10 damage. Sorry, how much? 10 damage. He is unconscious. That took so much self-control to non-lethal. All right. Um, with that, combat ends. No, Good job, you guys. I don't get to cause my mischief. If you want to, you can. It's just that initiative is now over. You see, it's I want to do it, but I don't know if I can do it or if it's a smart idea to do it. Please share with the class. I'm thinking about... I was thinking about throwing a spell or dagger and then acting like, who the hell did that? And seeing if they bought it. You could do that that's with that's a switcheroo. Indeed. But that would require me not to be looked at and just looking at it now from the angles. There's probably a couple of them looking at me so I wouldn't be able to... I'd be able to use a subtle spell, but all of my spells originate from near me, so they'd be able to tell it was me. Uh, so sadly, I can't do it. So even if I did the subtle casting, it would still be like a magic missile would appear next to me and then fire. Okay. So sadly, I can't. I can't cause my mischief. I just want you to know that there was mischief being thought of. Indeed. All right. I really need to start learning to conserve my spells. But I just wanted to play. You killed him. I did. Mm -hmm. All right. So, as you guys exit initiative of combat, Illig looks over at you, Vildrasen, and he goes, did, did, did you kill him? No, he's not dead. I'm like still propping him up, like, oh, I'm alive, oh, don't stab me in the eye. I'll just use one of my, I'll just use the uh, mage hands to try and help prop him up and make him wave one arm. See, he's, he's <laughs> still alive. Weakened Bernie style. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> mm. I only beat him senseless. I didn't kill him. Okay. And he reaches over and he pulls his dagger. Um, he, he he has his dagger in his hand, and he and he just before before he strikes, he he looks at you, Bow, and just goes, "Hold him real still." And then he slams the dagger into uh, the other eye of. The now former King Gollop the So when his head's mounted on a pike, is he going to be blind forever now? I assume so. Hmm. Um... 
He looks around at uh, his co-conspirators and at you guys and he goes Today the Duke of I had it written down The Duke of Mookstump is no more Today begins the reign of King Illig the First and all the other uh, Bollywoods bow and and clap. May you reign well for the next week or two weeks or however long the next coup takes. Yeah, Rourke would you play a watch if he had one. May you play some uh, prime music. <laughs> It's it's middle to by you just standards. Okay. Um hmm. King Illig looks at uh looks at all of you and he says If you head back to that watchtower, Morgort will be waiting there with the uh, balloon. Presuming she was successful in her endeavors. <laughs> Doc, no. <laughs> Doc? What? Huh? <laughs> oh, what are you put in chat? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um do, do any of you want to do anything? I'm just hoping that there's a big coronation party before they go and take us to the hack because I burned through a lot of unnecessary spell slots. I nap. <laughs> Um, I will say but that. But if not, uh, it's absolutely fine. I am happy to live with the consequences of my actions. You are. I'd say because it's night time, you can sleep in the watchtower. Yeah. Sleep in the watchtower, like, towards the end of things. I yeah. Rourke finds this idea very appealing and sensible. We don't even get a room. We have the tower. That's all I need. Why would you want a room? Sleep under the stars. It's what I do normally, anyways. I was more talking about for the others. Yeah. Uh. The um. The watchtower is tall. There are floors, so you can sleep on like the uh. The first floor up because there's the ground floor, the first floor, and then the open top second floor. R Rourke is camping out on the roof, on the top. Finally, sensible accommodations. Like, if there's enough space, Palm might do the same. She kind of likes the idea of like sleeping under the stars. And stuff. Oh, there's plenty of space for all of you. Yay! Sleep over. <laughs> <laughs> Can any of you magical people, like, summon pillows and stuff? And make, like, a little fort? I can make an imaginary pillow. You can't touch it and it has no mass. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. Actually, do I have conjure pillow? <laughs> Rourke would appreciate the fact that you're trying to make a nest. It's not the best nest, but, you know, it's, it's the effort. It would be comfy. You could have like a little otter stuffy and it'd be great. It'd be cute. Alright. Oh no, I just had an idea of something stupid that I could do and now it's got me questioning how D&D &D mechanics work. What is this something <laughs> stupid? The idea 
was, you know, like those uh, rabbit, the, the small game that was hunted. They're probably fluffy, so I could turn that invisible and turn it into a pillow. Then if I turned it invisible, but then threw paint on it, would the paint be visible? Even though it's attaching to the fur? I think this kind of dives into the you're overthinking this way too much territory. Yes, I am. I really am. Sorry. <laughs> I, I sidetracked myself and I had to take you all down with me. <laughs> uh, this, the, the riddle of how a rabbit is like a pillow can be categorized with the how is a raven like a writing desk. <laughs> Maybe it's better off that the world will never know. <laughs> Alright, so... It, um, it depends if the paint is counted as being worn or carried. You're welcome. <laughs> All right, so. As you guys go ahead and take your long rest, um, we are going to end session there. Yeah, yeah. Um, the next session, I am going to make as mandatory for everyone to attend, um, purely because it's the final, the final phase of this section. Yes. Of the, uh, so adventure. yeah, <laughs> and I. Well, so we're having our season finale. No. No. It. It's more like the end of the first arc of four episodes. Yeah. It's like in like a thirteen-episode season, it's like three or four episodes as a story arc. This is episode. We're going into episode four. Yes. Um. So this is. Yeah, that, uh, the reason I want to make it mandatory is because I don't want anyone to miss out on the, um... Hag murdering. The hag murdering yeah. <laughs> that you guys want to do. Um, if I don't <laughs> level up at the end of murdering a hag, I will I honestly. Yeah. Good for you. Alright, so, um... Wow, I've just been <laughs> fucking told, haven't I? <laughs> Make note, no level up for my Uja next week. <laughs> oh, just me, is that how it is? <laughs> you just, you're just trying to get streamer clout by having me cry on stream. <laughs> yeah, that's how it works. Alright, um... So, I hope you guys enjoyed this, enjoyed this session today. Like I said, it was a bit short. Um, that's fine. I didn't even get to cast sleep, I'm sad. You had the opportunity, you passed it up. I will say that noticing the sadness of sleep failing again, Karanios will go up to uh, up to Muja and say, you can cast it on me, I could really do with a good nap. Uh, how much health do you have? Uh, total is 33. Never mind, it's not possible. Drat. I punch myself in the thick. No. <laughs> I'm going to start wailing <laughs> on you. I you to help. I was going to say, if you need to take a few fists to the face, I can... I can I can oblige you. K O. I could probably no, pull no, off no, one round that, too. The <laughs> fact that Karanios is a masochist is still secret. <laughs> <laughs> Note to self. <laughs> I just I just got to make sure I don't accidentally spark and kick you off the tower. All right. So uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed tonight's session. Um. I hope chat enjoyed tonight's session. It's good to be back. Uh, Although... Even if, if the uh, heat makes it tricky. The heat has definitely made it tricky, but I have discovered that having an ice pack to sit on makes it a little bit easier. Yeah. Advice noted. Um, yeah. Alright, uh, I will end the stream. Bye stream. Bye stream.